हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड पीरियडिस्टी इन प्रॉपर्टीज दैट इज आवर थर्ड चैप्टर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड क्लासिफिकेशंस फोर क्लासिफिकेशन वी डिड विच फर्स्ट वन डॉबर ने सेकेंड वी डिड ऑफ द न्यू लैंड्स देन वी स्टूडेड द मैंडलीव and at last modern periodic table all four classification we have completed and then next topic also that uh, nomenclature of atomic number z is greater than 100 then how to do the naming of those compounds particularly elements now today's topic is our regarding electronic configuration electronic configuration you have already did in the second chapter that how to do the electronic configuration of elements and the periodic table that how the electronic configuration is associated with the modern periodic table that's we are going to find out in this topic so you know that a uh, in the first uh, second chapter we did there are four quantum numbers four quantum numbers associated with any particular electron which first one n tell what a cell of the electron which uh, the next one secondary quantum number which is represented by l will tell about the sub cell then third quantum that is m particularly tells you about the orbital and at last spin will tell you about the rotation of the electron in that particularly orbital so we modern periodic table is divided among you know that periods groups so let's discuss first about the electronic configuration in periods you know that there are seven periods so if you go for the first period the configuration will all depend in the n if you go for one there will be cell that is one s particularly if you go for the first this is for the first period for second period if you go that will comes 2s 2p the n which 2 if you go for third period the classification will become 3s 3p 3d if you go fourth period you will see that in this case of the fourth period you will get here n minus 1 b ns np these are the np remain these underlined one or circled one are remain empty in this period particularly bs okay the next one if you go for the fifth one the orbitals will become n minus 2d n minus 1s and np particular so in this manner the electronic configuration goes on for the next and next period particular period okay which the minimum number of elements present in the first this first period second period and third period are known as sort period fourth and fifth period fourth fifth and sixth are known as fourth fifth sixth are the long periods which seventh is known as incomplete period according to electronic configuration okay now you will see that in third period particularly sorry fourth period you met the configuration n minus 1d ns mean to say 3d 4s for the fourth period the this will be the sub cells which are going to fill if you go for the fourth period z atomic number that is atomic number z 21 to 30 those elements are known as transition elements transition elements we okay there are also 
some elements uh, are picked up from these uh, elements uh, from the sixth and seventh period and those elements are known as inner transition elements in case of f orbital you will met the n minus 2 f n minus 1 d n s fulfilling particularly mean to say f sub cell you will see that n minus 2 f sub cell will get filled over there okay so these are the electronic configuration relation with the different periods particularly now group wise if you go all the groups have the same electronic configuration elements like first if you go they all have ns1 electronic configuration in the last one if you go for the second group that will have ns2 configuration filled the last step set if we, so in the same manner you will go and go for the all general electronic configuration which the 17th is your ns2 np5 those seven, all 17th group elements have this outermost electronic configuration if you go for the 18th group ns2 np6 fully filled so a particular if you talk about group they all possess same general electronic configuration mean to say same kind of sub cell cell filled particularly okay so this is the next classification uh, relation first period wise then group wise then the next one is block wise dn so there are modern periodic table is divided among three four sorry four blocks that is s p d f mean to say the electron is going in which sub cell according to them. if you talk about first and second group both are known as s block elements because the last electron is entering in the s sub cell if you go for the p block 13 to 18th group elements are known as p group because the general configuration always remain ns122 ns126 ns and np last electron always enter into the p sub cell for them if you go for the d block elements thus last electron always enter in the d that is the configuration will become n minus 1 d ns np which period number 3 to 12 group number okay these are particularly known as d block now two inner transition elements are known as f block elements the electronic general configuration is n minus 2 nf n minus 1 d ns this is the general electronic configuration for f block elements which they are also known as lanthanides and actinides lanthanides is varying from the atomic number 58 to 71 and this one from 90 to 103 these are the 14 elements in each lanthanides as well as in actinides these are known as f block elements because during electronic configuration their last elements always enter into the f sub cell so depending on which sub cell the last electron will go the different elements are divided along among block wise now you will see that in the classification when we did the classification in the modern term they already get divided among metals non metals and metalloids so mostly elements in the particularly periodic table we have metals particularly around about 87 we have metals around about if you go for the non metals which uh, metalloids are among uh, uh, eight uh, particularly metalloids the rest of are your known metals in that okay there are also six elements are noble elements of the 18th group particularly for the 18th group we are so when we did the classification according to modern periodic table elements itself get divided among metals non metals i mean to say proper classification get properly which if you go for the metalloids so gallium germanium silicon arsenic astatine these are some particularly 
सिलिकॉन जो है और से देखते हैं एंटीमनी दीज आर द पार्टिकुलरली वन यूर मेटेलाइट्स बी एन डेट इज विच बिकम थ्री थ्री सिक्स पार्टिकुलरली मेटेलाइट्स यू हैव इन यूर क्रेडिट टेबल so they get itself particularly having different property like metal have electron losing property non metals have electron gaining tendency metalloids show both kind of nature while the normal elements remain stable they do not react with any one of so today our classification get completed here so in the tomorrow's lecture we will discuss about the properties okay so today your homework is first to read the Up to page number eighty-two, NCERT. Second thing, solve blueprint. Use an answer in rough notebook. Second thing, make your notes there in fair note. Okay, thank you.